Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. Now please do forgive me if uh, I'm out of focus in this video. I don't have my monitor working because my laptop, the charger's at work. Long story, anyway. Today I'm gonna to be filming my bridal beauty haul and I call it that because I've not been buying makeup or that much skincare for myself in the past few months and I went up to the wedding, obviously saving money. Basically, I saw this palette, one of the holiday palettes, a few months ago and I thought, well, I'm not gonna buy any more makeup until that comes out and I'm gonna treat myself to this particular palette because I love it and I don't have anything like it in my collection, which is saying something. So then I saw it came out and then Cot Beauty also had their goodie bag offer. Now I made a video about this last year. I do like to take advantage of the goodie bag offers because I think they're such good value for money. Essentially you spend X amount, it changes every year, and then you get a free goodie bag that's got at least 300 pounds worth of products in it, sometimes 250. And yes, some of them are smaller sizes, but they are of very, very high end brand things. So things that I would not typically buy. I have to say this year, the goodie bag was not as exciting as last year, but it still had enough things to make me think, okay, since I'm buying this one palette, which was quite expensive anyway, I'm gonna pick it up, you know? I like to save up and then wait for offers and then like sort of buy quite a few things in one go, but everyone's different, you know? Like some people just like to buy one thing every month. I definitely have changed my preference as I've gotten older and as my financial priorities have changed a bit as well. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the Wet Brush Pro Original Detangler. The first brush that was all the rage, that was just, it wasn't doing enough for my hair. Now this I've heard so many good things about, it's um, supposed to be the healthy way to brush your hair and Brushing your hair is really, really important. I think some people have this misconception that when you wear the hijab, your hair starts falling out. But actually, unfortunately, it's more the fact that because you wear the hijab, you take less care of your hair sometimes and you don't tend to brush it as often as you would do when you don't wear hijab. Or if you've got curlier hair, sometimes you just think if I brush it, it turns into a big frizzy mess. This apparently claims to be the solution to keeping healthy, shiny hair um, and making sure that it's brushed really, really carefully. So this brush costs £12, which, you know, it's not too bad to be honest. I mean, I don't tend to spend a lot of money on hair care products, but I just felt like I did need a really good detangling brush and I'm excited to try it. And obviously if I love it, it will be in one of my favorite videos. I also picked up a couple of masks, but the first one being one from Ember Elise. You guys know that I absolutely adore the uh, Lit Cream Concentrate Moisturizer, especially when I'm wearing like heavier makeup. This is a Hydra mask. It's very intensively moisturizing and it gives like a regenerating care i'm very excited to try it it's quite a small size and i think it was wasn't cheap but french skincare tends to be a bit more pricey so this was 22 pounds for 60 milliliters so yeah i'll let you guys know how i get on with this and then this is a repurchase um if you have been following me for a while or you've watched my skincare routine you'll know that quarterly is an absolute favorite brand of mine i have to give a shout out to sharoon for this because she was the one who introduced me to this mask this is the instant detox mask by called Lee. It's a clay mask. It's sort of like a pinky brown colour and I find that it is super super effective at really removing impurities and making my skin feel refreshed. It says what it does on a tube. It literally gives you an instant detox and again this was around the 20 yeah 22 pounds for 75 millilitres but it's one of the only masks that I finished because I loved it so much not because I felt like I had to finish it because it was expensive. So yeah massively massively love this and recommend it to all of you. Because, inshallah, I'm getting married soon and I'll be travelling around more than I have been anyway, definitely. Um, I wanted to get a little mirror, which, I mean, I do like compacts that have mirrors in them, but I have been looking at this for a while. This is the Weaver mirror. It comes in a little box I've just opened and it's £7.99. And I just thought it looked really, really convenient. So it's this size. It's not... It's a really nice size actually. It'll definitely fit in like some of my larger makeup bags. And it says, Zoeva, your window to beauty. And it's pretty much one of those cute little three-fold mirrors. So at the back, it's got a stand. So you can choose how high you want to adjust it. And once you've opened the stand, yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna just show you like that. That's the mirror. And actually, it's such a good size because you can pretty much see on all angles how you look in one go, which is 
slightly overwhelming. <laughs> oh, and it's adding some lovely light to this camera effect right now. For eight quid, I thought it was really good. It's obviously a real mirror, strong, sturdy, protected enough when you close it. That's like one of those things which I always knew that I needed to get at some point and then seeing the cult beauty offer, I was like, well, this seems like the right time to edit to my bag. Before I went to get my hydrofacial, which there is a video coming up about that, I found the Tony Molly Blackhead Steam Balm. And I've had some pretty good results with Tony Molly products. To be honest, I've mainly just used their sheet mask. I've had their Panda Brightening Stick don't really like it but um some of their products can be really really good obviously it's a korean skincare brand this is a blackhead steam balm which i found really interesting i don't have a lot of blackheads but i do have some well i did have some gathering on my nose now they've been taken out from that um uber expensive but lovely facial so this is what it looks like it's like an egg shape the packaging is really cute of tony Miller products Ooh, okay so it's like got like a little sort of scrub on the inside. I don't know how well you can see that. Step one is really at the skin. It completely removes old sebum, dead skin cells and other disturbing and chronic problems found in the pores. You're supposed to apply the amount just onto the areas that have blackheads and gently massage for three to five minutes. And when the transparent oil changes into opaque white, wash it off with lukewarm water. Use once or twice a week. Um, and you can use it with their egg pore tightening cooling pack. It was one of those things because the next few items I'm going to show you were a lot more expensive. I was kind of like, well, I need to get some things that I do really want to try and I need, but aren't too expensive. So those were kind of like the add-ons, if you like. And the expensive things that I really have been saving up for are... Da -da 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 -da, drum roll, please. Hourglass products, because I have never had an hourglass product before. Actually, tell a lie, tell a lie. I've had one hourglass product before, literally just one. A little lipstick, which was so luxurious and so nice. But it was a sample. I think I got it in either a Space NK goodie bag or a Cult Beauty goodie bag or something like that. I've never invested in hourglass makeup because it is so expensive. It is definitely high end. It's definitely up there. And it's one of those things, right, where I know it's really good. I know I'm going to probably love the products because... You know, sometimes, actually a lot of the times, when something's more expensive, you are paying for the quality. Sometimes you're paying for the brand name, like some things from Dior, Chanel, etc., etc., are pretty overpriced because of the name. But I very rarely heard bad things about Hourglass. Um, at the same time, I just feel like, you know, when you have a lot of makeup already, you just feel like you, you shouldn't be splurging so much. But because, obviously I keep saying this, but because I'm going to be a bride soon, inshallah, I thought I would treat myself to this. And I got two things from Hourglass, actually. So the first thing that I got is a Prime and Set Duo. And I kind of wish it was, like, in a little cute box or something. This is kind of like one of their Christmassy products. But anyway, this was £30. So for two small products, that's quite a lot. Still saving money because when you see the full price of these you're just like oh my gosh so you get these two products for 30 quid this is the hourglass mineral primer it's oil free and it's got spf 15 i have had so many good things about this primer i've heard that it's like the best primer that is on the market or one of the best anyway and for like basically 15 pounds get a decent size for hourglass i mean like it's like that big compared to the palm of my hand. It's not a bad size at all, and I just thought this would be like the perfect base to wear on my wedding day, inshallah, on my Valima day, and um, on the days where I just want a longer lasting base without having to continuously top up. So I'm really excited to try that. It's definitely gonna be a special occasion item for me. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing. And the second thing to go with that, that was a prime, this is the set. This is the Hourglass um, Translucent Setting Powder. And to be honest with you, I've not really gone down the high-end powder route yet. I do want to because I feel like that makes a very big difference. The only high-end powder that I've ever tried is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and I love it, the pressed powder. But I've not tried the Laura Mercier, which I might be trying soon. Um, and I've not tried, you know, anything too high-end. I've tried the Kat Von D one, which I did like, and then I've tried classic ones like the uh, banana powder and then the also the Primark ones and things like that and sometimes I do think it's worth paying more even though essentially what you're doing is packing on and then brushing it off sometimes it's worth paying more so this is the hourglass um translucent setting powder and again I've had very good things about it and actually for 15 pounds it's not a bad size at all I thought it was going to be smaller than this so that's not bad because you're only use a little bit I wouldn't use this all over my face I don't think and then the final item which 
let's be honest, stole my heart when I saw it. <laughs> and to be honest, this item has stolen my heart in the past. I've always loved the look of this item and they bring out a new one every year for like the last four years I have done anyway. And I've never ever taken the plunge and spent this much money on it because it is so expensive. But let me open it first. So, it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4, which is so exciting. Basically, right, Hourglass powders are supposed to be amazing, like, incredible, like, whoa, like, beyond words. And they're expensive. So, like, a full size one, like, you know, just like a regular full size compact is like £45 I believe. That's quite a lot of money. That's like more than Charlotte Tilbury, which is quite a lot of money, you know? So this palette I thought was like really good value for money and they, they do bring out one every single year. If we open it together. They bring out one every single year and in the past I've just been like, no, I can't justify it. It's £69, which is quite a lot of money. But this time, this is like my little beauty treats to myself you know, for my wedding, um, treat yourself. And this is what the palette looks like. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. It is pink in tone. It's very reflective. You can see me in there. It's a nice weight actually. It's not, it's quite lightweight. It's lighter than I thought. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So inside you get six powders. How beautiful are they? You get two blushes, a bronzing shade, a highlight shade, well, two highlighter shades, one that is like much more sort of like brightening and then one that's got a bit more shimmer in it. And then this is like a sort of setting powder to just all over your skin glow. This is definitely one of those that it looks way better on the skin than swatch. Some things can look amazing swatched, but then look a bit meh on the skin. And uh, Hourglass is definitely, these powders, like the, the texture and the formula is so soft and so beautiful. And I'm just very, very, very excited to be owning this right now. And all of these colors, I'm pretty sure will work for me. I'm like a... Um, Stromboli and NARS. Um, so I've got a very like olive medium skin tone. Anushka Beauty actually did do a first impressions of this on her channel and uh, she is like NC45 I think so and it worked for her but she said that if you were any deeper than her she wouldn't recommend it. And I'm also really excited for this one because this is like the perfect autumnal shade and I'm really excited for these two finishing powders and the bronzer. The only one that I'm not like mm, very excited about is the um, straight highlighter, but let's watch it. That's not, that's not bad actually. I thought it was gonna be a lot more glittery. It's not bad. How to use guide, finish bronze, blush and highlight. So literally everything you need for your face. So again, when I'm doing a bit of traveling, inshallah, this will be a really good, good thing to take along with me. And it's got a really nice size mirror in it as well. So yeah, I'm very happy that I own Hourglass. I'm genuinely, I'm really, really pleased that I, first of all, that I waited for a special occasional time in my life. And secondly, that it's now mine. I am very happy. Anyway, so on to the goodie bag. Now I'm not going to show you every single thing in a goodie bag. I'm gonna show you what I'm particularly excited about because uh, last time I did this video, it was like so long and I can already tell I've been talking like literally it says nine minutes And this is like the third clip. So that's a long time of talking. Also, four videos don't do that well on my channel I'm not very happy about that, but they don't. So anyway, this is the goodie bag. This is what it looks like And let's see what is inside shall we you get a cult beauty makeup bag Which I'm never gonna say no to honestly. I can never have enough makeup bags Nothing will ever, ever, ever top my favourite makeup bag of all time, which says my channel and blog name on it, How Gorgeous Is This, made by one of my talented best friends. I will leave her links below, definitely go and check that out. But anyway, that's a pretty decent sized makeup bag, maybe you like just put it in my bag. The first thing, oh my gosh, is a pair of Huda Beauty lashes, ooh, ooh, iconic beauty lashes, oh my gosh. These are in the style Samantha in number seven. I cannot wait to try them. These could be my wedding lashes, I don't know, but I'm very, very happy to have this in my life. The next thing is by the brand Lixer Skin, and this is a vitamin C paste. Now I've already tried the um, moisturizer by these guys, wait for my interviews video to hear about that. 
I'm really excited to try this though because I don't actually have anything in my skincare routine that has lots of vitamin C in it. So this says it has vitamin C, 10% L-absorbic acid, which neutralizes oxidized sebum and pro proteins to revive grayish, greenish and dull skin undertones. Ooh, this would be really good for like around my mouth where sometimes it can look really gray with makeup on and ashy. It says it also provides natural sunscreen against UVA and UVB and regulates melanin production and helps collagen production and produces elastin. Whoa, it is promising a lot and I'm very excited to try this. This is around, I wanna say 30 pounds regularly, so such a good thing to get for free. And the lashes are like 17 pounds, again, for free, so good. Okay, this is the Omravitsa um, More Cream Cleanser. Omravitsa is a super luxurious brand. I remember I went to Smoky Not Smudgy like when I was 17, I wanna say, and Amelia Liana was there, like, like one of their guest speakers, like she was doing it for charity, which was really sweet. Like this was before she became like a 400,000 subscribers kind of mark. And she was talking about Mravitsa and I was like, ooh, very nice. I was making all these notes. And then I went home and I searched on Mravitsa and I was like, oh, very nice, but not my price tag, no. <laughs> but so yeah, it's really cool to have one of their cleansers. This is 30 milliliters as well, so a very, very decent size. Okay, we've got a Goop, Goop Glow Morning Skin Super Powder Food Supplement. This is the only thing that when I was looking at what's inside, I was like, a food supplement? Mm don't know if I'm about that life really. Um, I would let you guys know if I go for this. I might do before the wedding because you know your girl's looking a little bit chubby right now but we'll see. I'm not I'm not a big fan of those sort of things. Ah, okay I'm so excited about this. So I used to watch um, Farah on YouTube like back in the day and then I used to love her tutorials and her DIYs and you know, she's come out with like so many Insta famous things now, which I haven't tried any of them, like Unicorn Essence and the the Rose Gold thing. I don't know. All of these cool things, the Fast Ellie by her brand. And then she also came out with a highlighter and they included the highlighter in the goodie bag for free. And this is like, I want to say 25 to 30 pounds as well. Could be wrong. But this is an illuminator and it's like a really cool jelly texture. I know that some other brands have duped it, but it's very cool to have my own. To be honest with you, with the amount of liquid and powder highlighters that I own, I wouldn't have brought this by myself, like with my own money. But again, that's why these goodie bag offers are really good because all those things I brought before are things that I either needed or really wanted for a long time. And then you get a bunch of extra things for free. So this is what the Far Sally jelly beam looks like and I've got the shade rose golds which is such a cute name we have some uh, liquid gold by alpha h I mean to be really honest with you I have a lot of these so I think I'm going to give this away to my mum because I do have a couple of backups from last year so um but this stuff is amazing it's it's what I honestly attribute to keeping my skin looking bright and beautiful Obviously my age is a factor as well, but you know, some people my age don't have the best skin and I'm just like, you guys need to get on glycolic acid, seriously. Liquid gold is amazing. If you're a bit, if you've got more sensitive skin or you're a bit worried, then I would go for Pixie Glow Tonic first, but liquid gold is an illegal of its own in my opinion. Then they also gave a mini size of the ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Crush. Really love this shade. Uh, it's, it's a shade that's like sort of like a pinky bluey colour. I'm not going to open it because I've got one open already. We also have a Drunk Elephant product, which is really cool. Uh, they've recently come to the UK and it's quite a high-end skincare brand. Again, I'm not one to rush into buying new products from new brands just because they're high-end or they're raved about in America, but this is really cool to try out. This is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Again, another glycolic product. The size is pretty decent. It's five milliliters. And it's got a cute little pump. So that's like something, again, something that's nice to, if you're going traveling, to take with you and to sort of just add in your bag. Then I have a Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Dew It All Eye Gel. So, so good. I can't wait to try this. Um, I tried a few things from Dr. Dennis Chris. Again, a high-end brand that I'm not necessarily prone to just picking their products up with. Then we have the Jouer Long-Lasting Lip Topper with Coconut Oil. Look, guys. Oh, look how pretty it is. It's so stunning. It's literally got, like, glitter particles in it, which I hope don't translate too weirdly on the skin, but let's have a look. Wow. That is so pretty that would make like a, your 
standard nude lip looks so so gorgeous even just adding a tiny bit of it into the center of the lips and if you've got smaller lips like me every little helps in that regard <laughs> ah so this is what i was super excited about as well two things here so we've got a really cute tiny tiny laura mercier translucent setting powder um this is 3.5 grams so cute now i have a little one and i have the hourglass one so i can compare between the two and use them up for a good few weeks and then decide which one i want to get so finally i get to see what all the hype is about another thing that has been so raved about so raved about honestly this is a Luna Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. I think I first saw Samantha Maria talk about it and then some other big like beauty influencers. It is super, super expensive, the full size. Now this is a five milliliter bottle and it's supposed to deliver youthful, luminous, even toned skin in the morning. I think this is the most adorable little thing I have ever seen in my whole life and I'm so happy. It's like, you know, some brands are like doing those beauty oven calendars but like all of them are advent size tiny size products i don't personally think a lot of them are worth it because you're not getting the bang for the buck with this goodie bag you're spending a certain amount on stuff that you wanted anyway and all of this extra stuff is for free like i didn't pay extra to get any of these they just came for free the best of 2018 finally for absolutely free they gave everyone a 15 pound gift card as well which is really really sweet i mean literally for free i i i can't stop saying that because it's so amazing <laughs> so yeah that was the contents of the goodie bag pretty much almost everything i covered in there um you also got a brush from morphe and morphe aren't being sold on beauty bay anymore which i find a bit weird and that is the end of my haul this was quite a long video but you know what um i haven't done the haul in a while and i really enjoyed sharing that with you guys and also opening it Inshallah, I definitely will be doing the hourglass video and maybe with a Farsali jelly highlighter. We shall see. Let me know if you would like to see that down below. And if you enjoyed this haul, then make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Honestly, my hauls never get like many views compared to some of my other videos. So let me know because sometimes I feel like it's a bit of a waste of time, but I still like sharing it anyway, you know. So um, that's the end of my video. I'm rambling on now. I will see you in my next one. Inshallah, take care of yourselves. Bye.